Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Do you have a dress in your closet that no longer fits you? You can't zip it up anymore, but you love it and you wanna save it, but you don't know what to do? Well, one of the easiest ways to save that dress is by adding grommets up the back of it. And this also adds a really fun design element to the dress as well. Welcome to Sew Anastasia. And today we are going to make a dress bigger by adding grommets and ties. Along the way, I'm gonna give you all kinds of tips and tricks so that way your grommets look nice and professional and they don't rip out of your dress because that would be the worst. We don't wanna rip holes in the dress. We want it to be nice and strong. So I'm gonna give you all kinds of tips and tricks throughout the video to make sure your dress is professional and lasts forever. So make sure you follow along to the end so you can get all of that information. You're gonna to have to gather a few supplies before you start working on your dress. You're going to need the grommets. You're gonna need a hammer to put the grommets on. The grommets should come with a tool to apply them with. You're gonna need your snips. You're gonna need some chalk. You're gonna need some thick fusible interfacing. And then you're either gonna need some fabric or some strips of ribbon so that way we can finish the edge and reinforce it. Now that you have all of your supplies, let's take a look at that dress that no longer fits and talk about how we're going to make this happen. So here's the back of my dress and you can see it does not fit the dress form at all, which means it does not fit me. Um, so we need to finish this edge and get some grommets in there. What I've done is I've seam ripped out the zipper to the waist because it fits at the waist here. So we're gonna have it zip up to the waist because if we did grommets all the way down to our butt, well, you know, that might turn into quite a fetish dress. So we'd still like to wear this out during the day. So we are going to keep the zipper to the waist. So the first thing you need to do is rip it out to the point that it actually fits. And now what we're gonna do is cut off some of the zipper and finish the edge. Before I take it off though, I wanna make sure that I put a little mark of chalk so that way I know where the zipper needs to stop. And now we can take it off the dress form. Now what we wanna do is take the zipper and fold it back to where that chalk line is on the outside. So fold it over so it's creating a right angle. And then what we can do is go ahead and just sew right over it. You can sew over a nylon zipper. Just make sure you're not trying to sew over a metal zipper. If you have a metal zipper, you're gonna have to hand tack this. So just go ahead and sew over it at this point, and then your zipper is going to be secure. And then everything else is gonna be all about the grommets. And you're gonna do the same thing on both sides. I have them nice and securely sewed down. So let's check out that zipper and cut off the extra. You can see where I securely sewed down the zipper and that the zipper is creating a 90 degree angle. Now we're just gonna cut off the rest of the zipper. So just go ahead and snip that zipper off and it is not going anywhere. Now that we're right here, what we need to do is clip into the fabric where it's folded here because when we sew our interfacing on and our ribbon on, we need it to come up right here. But if we don't clip that, it's gonna get all weird and bunchy. So right now what you need to do is just clip right to that fold that you have in your garment where your seam allowance was. And now this is gonna nicely open up for you. And you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. This next part is all about reinforcing the dress because if you just put grommets into the dress, when you tie it up and wear it, they are going to rip out and destroy your dress. And not to mention, it will be so embarrassing if that happens and you're out in public and your dress just starts falling apart on you. Not good. So to make it nice and strong, I'm going to be using a heavyweight fusible interfacing and I'm going to be fusing this on the dress, on the inside of it, directly on it. And then we're gonna put some fusing on our ribbon and then we're gonna sew the ribbon to the dress and we are gonna create a really stable foundation for those grommets so that way they can get a lot of wear and tear and tug and pull and dancing. You're gonna have so much fun in this dress now. So we're gonna be measuring from that little slit we made above the zipper to the very top of the dress. Make sure it's nice and straight. So when I'm measuring my center back here, I'm getting eight and a half inches. So we're gonna cut two strips of interfacing, two inches wide by eight and a half inches long. And then I want you to measure out your ribbon 
and measure out an inch extra so that way we can fold under the edges to make them nice and clean. So I'm gonna measure out my ribbon nine and a half inches long and I'm also gonna cut a piece of fusible interfacing for my ribbon as well. Your ribbon could be wider, it could be narrower, so however wide your ribbon is, just make sure you also interface it or you could also use a scrap of fabric or a new piece of fabric. Just make sure you finish the edges and interface it. As you can see here, we have our two pieces of interfacing to iron directly to the dress, and then we have interfacing and ribbon to create a nice finished edge for the grommets and to also secure it even more. And you can see that the ribbon is longer than the interfacing, so that way we can fold this in and have a nice clean edge. Since this is fusible interfacing, I get to iron it directly to the dress and the ribbon. So easy. And if you don't have fusible interfacing, that's okay. Just go ahead and sew it down. So let's head over to the iron and iron all these pieces where they go. Okay, so I have my interfacing glue side down. Just so you can see this, I'm not gonna use muslin, but you always wanna make sure you're using muslin below your project and on top of your project so you don't get glue everywhere. Let's give this a good press and we are fused. So you wanna do this to the other side of your dress as well and just make sure that your interfacing is going all the way to the raw edge of your dress or the surged edge of your dress and then it's going to the very top of the dress and it's going all the way down to right above that zipper. So it's going right to where that slit is that we put into the dress. So you want to make sure that your fusible is face down on your ribbon and just make sure you center it so it's easier to fold the edges in later on. And let's just go ahead and give that a good press. And there we go. Now we have our ribbon fused with the interfacing and it's nice and sturdy. And just go ahead and do that to your other piece of ribbon. Now that we have all the interfacing applied, it is time to sew the ribbon to the dress to reinforce it. And then it's grommet time. So let's make sure we get this on in nice and finished and professional looking. So let's go over it. Okay, so if you have a lining in your dress, you can go ahead and place the lining over the interfacing that you already have there. I'm just gonna put a pin in here to keep it together. And now what we're gonna do is take your dress right side up and take your ribbon right side up and place those together. Now you wanna make sure that you have some of the ribbon hanging off of the top and you wanna make sure that there is some extending past that little slip there because we need this extra so that way we can finish off the edges. And now what you wanna do is pin your ribbon in place. Great. And now what we're gonna do is sew it down at the edge this dress had a half inch seam allowance on it already, so I'm gonna go ahead and sew a half inch right here. And then we're gonna end up taking this and flipping it to the inside and doing a little magic with how we stitch this down and make it look professional. So make sure you follow along so that way you can get those nice professional edges. So let's head over to the sewing machine. Okay, so before you start sewing, you wanna fold up the edge of your ribbon to right where that slit is. And now when we start sewing, it's really important that you're starting right where the slit ends into the dress. So it's really important that we are right here. If we're too far over, we're gonna get a weird buckle. And if we're too far over to the right, we're gonna get a hole. So make sure you're directly where that slit ends. Don't forget to back stitch. And then just sew all the way up your dress. But before we end at the top, we need to make sure that we fold our ribbon. So make sure your needle's in, lift up your foot, take the ribbon and fold back the ribbon until it matches with the neckline of your dress perfectly. And then you can continue sewing and backstitch at the top. And cut. So basically what we've created is an extension for our dress. So if I fold this over, you can see we have this extension on the dress that is wider than the zipper. So now what we need to do is take it and flip it to the inside right at that seam you just created. Right now is a really great time to iron this nice and flat. So now if we flip it to the inside, you can see we will have this piece of ribbon on the inside and it's nice and sturdy and stiff exactly the way we want it. So we are going to edge stitch just right along the edge of the ribbon. And yes, this will show a stitch on the outside of your garment, but it's going to look great. So we're gonna edge stitch all the way down, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna close the ends, just sewing them right on the edge as well, at the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna create this edge stitch right here, an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the ribbon. 
making sure everything is nice and folded. You wanna make sure that your ribbon isn't popping out to the front of the dress. That is key for making it look nice and professional. Making sure that your ribbon is staying turned under at the bottom. We get to the bottom edge here, we can actually just leave our needle in and turn and come across the bottom. Back stitch and cut. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the top up here. Little edge stitch at the very top of the ribbon. Back stitch and cut. Look at how nice this ribbon looks on the inside of our dress. And if we flip it over, you can see how it just blends right off of the zipper up to the top of the dress. This looks beautiful and professionally finished. Now you need to do the exact same thing to the other side of your dress. Now we're ready to apply the grommets. Look at how beautiful this looks on the outside and on the inside. This looks so beautiful. And it's nice and strong and reinforced with all of that interfacing and the ribbon. So let's talk about where we're gonna put these grommets, how we make the holes, how do we get them to line up properly, all that good stuff. So grommets come in all different sizes. Um, I'm gonna be using these larger grommets today. And I've roughly placed out about how many I wanna use. I would like to use six grommets, but we just don't wanna willy-nilly put them in. We wanna actually measure them out. So a great thing to do is actually measure the distance that you're going to be applying the grommets in, how many grommets you'd like to do, and then do some division. When you apply the grommets to the other side of the dress, you wanna make sure that they are in the exact same position. You don't wanna stagger them or anything like that. I'm gonna do a little measuring to make sure the grommets are going to be in the right spot. And then we are gonna cut holes into the dress. This is the scary part. So make sure you measure twice. So you can see all my little blue chalk marks where I'm going to put my grommets and you wanna make sure that your mark is right in the middle of that piece of ribbon that you have and you can tell by the stitch on the outside here. So just make sure you're putting the dot of chalk in the middle from the outside to that stitch line there. So go ahead and measure if you need to to figure out where the center is. So next we need to make that hole. So I'm going to be using a leather punch to get my hole started, but if you don't have a leather punch, no worry. You are just gonna cut out the hole with your scissors. Um, you need to make the hole about as big as the bottom of the grommet. Make sure you're not making the hole as big as the outside of it, because then it will be too big and it will fall out. Oh my gosh, we don't want that after all this hard work. So make sure you're cutting out your hole a little bit smaller than this inside hole here because your fabric will stretch as well. So let's make some holes. If you're using the leather punch, just go ahead and put it right where your blue spot is and squeeze real hard. I like to push down on a table, maybe. Um, so that way I can get a hole. And you should hear a really loud click when it goes through. Okay, so that leather punch was really hard to use. I think I need to buy a new one. It felt kind of dull, but we got all the holes punched and then I cut little additional slits in them so that way I can fit the very large grommets that I'm using through it. Now grommets come in all different sizes, so you might not need to additionally cut the edges of your hole so that way you can fit a grommet through it. This size might be perfect for your grommet and for your sake, I hope it is. So you can see where I just put little additional slits around these holes so that way they get bigger and I can fit the grommet through it. So you don't have to have an actual hole as big as the opening for the grommet. You just have to have the fabric opening up around this hole so that way you can get it through the fabric. So let's put on all of these grommets. Grab your hammer and your tools and let's do it. And yes, I have a pink hammer. So there are two parts to the grommet. This really big piece, you wanna go on the outside of your garment, so it just pushes right in once you've made that hole. Look how easy that was. And then this other piece goes on the back. You wanna make sure that the concave part is facing up, and that way it's gonna go right around the outside of it. And now you're gonna take these two pieces that should've came with your toolkit, and we're gonna place the right side of the grommet in this little donut groove here. And then we're gonna take this big piece and put it on top, now we're gonna give it a bunch of really hard wax, and then it should secure itself together. Ten wax, and 
we're looking pretty secure. So that's in there. And if you want, you can whack it more and push it down more, but it's not going anywhere and it looks great. Now I'm gonna repeat this 11 more times till I get all 12 of my grommets in the back of my dress and then we can lace it up and check it out. And then we'll have a dress that fits us. Amazing. Voila! After all of our hammering and hard work, our grommets turned out beautifully and they are so strong and sturdy. These grommets are not going anywhere after you lace it up, cinch it up, pull it tight and tie a bow. These grommets are almost corset strength. They are not gonna go anywhere. Now it's time to lace up our dress. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way to the bottom so that way I get a bow at the bottom of my dress. Look at how beautiful this turned out. I am just kind of amazed at how beautiful this looks. Kind of want to do this to a bunch of my dresses. So another thing you can do if you want to add this to a dress that does fit you is you can just cut out a piece of fabric on the center back and then go ahead and go through the same process that we just went through to make this dress bigger. Um, so you can see how professional and beautiful this really looks. So by taking the extra time and reinforcing it and giving it all those extra little stitches, it really, really makes a difference. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. If you enjoyed the video on how to make a dress bigger, add grommets and laces to the back of it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you thought of this video. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to Sew Anastasia and hit that notification bell because I have new videos that come out every single week, multiple times a week. So much sewing content for you. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all those other social media websites, make sure you follow me at Sewing Anastasia so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And I would love to see your projects. So make sure you tag me at Sewing Anastasia so they can repost them and share them for everyone else to be inspired by your creativity as well. And don't forget, I also teach sewing classes in my design studio in Chicago, Illinois, and I teach virtual lessons. And you can check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.